Hi Poppets, welcome to day 27 of 30 days of cleaning with yours truly, it is me Hayley. In today's clean we are going to be taking on the bathroom. So for this you will need some bathroom cleaner, some bleach or another antibacterial spray and you will also need some cloths. Like I said in the day 26 clean, from here on out up until day 30, we're going to be tackling our bigger areas, so our open spaces, our visuals. We have already tackled the smaller areas that are out of sight and that are often overlooked, including things like a toilet deep clean, our tiles, our grout in our bathrooms. We've also done our linen cupboards, so we should have nice clean, organized, fresh towels and bath mats in there that we can bring on out into our bathroom in today's clean. And this is gonna help us all when it comes to keeping a clean, organized home. So let's grab our cleaning tools, let's grab our motivation. Yes, I'm looking at you. Come on, we've got this. And let's head into our bathrooms and give them a clean on day 27. thing we want to do when we embark on a bathroom clean is remove everything from the bathroom before you begin. This makes it so much easier when it comes to actually cleaning because you're not trying to clean around things, you're properly cleaning the surface areas because there is nothing on them. So you don't necessarily need to move these completely out of the room, I choose to, but you don't have to if you've got lots of stuff in your room. Start with different sections and then once you've cleaned, go ahead and put them back. But I do find it easier to remove completely everything from the room so that you are working with a clean surface area. There's no clutter and this enables you to do a very good, efficient bathroom clean. <laughs> we can go ahead and start the clean. I mean, I feel like there's two of me in here right now because it's like, hello. There's a huge echo, isn't there? You're picking that up on the mic. There is a huge echo. But that's good because it means this room really is completely empty. Now we can get into the clean. So before we begin, we're gonna put on our bathroom rubber gloves. Remember from when we were doing our clean in here before, for those of you that have been following the full 30 days, I would have already showed you how to clean your rubber gloves so that they are nice and clean for the next time that you use them. So these are good to go and fresh to be used. I'm gonna be using the SIF cream cleaner to begin with, and then I'm gonna go in with some Sephora afterwards. So it's gonna be C and before D. We're gonna clean first, then we are gonna disinfect. Now the SIF is in the bath, we can go ahead and start cleaning the bathtub. We're gonna clean the bath, we're gonna clean the shower, we're gonna clean the shower head, we're gonna clean the taps. Everything in the bath area is gonna get a good clean. You can go ahead and do your tiles again if you haven't already done these in the 30 days of cleaning, but we should have already tackled our tiles and you wanna keep up the process that you're doing. So the process I showed you on the tiles, you're gonna to wanna to keep up doing that, but it's not something you have to do every single time you clean your bathroom because we would be here forever and a day. So we're gonna be focusing on things like the bath today, the bath panels, the taps, the floors. This is supposed to be just a nice, quick bathroom deep clean that is gonna leave your bathroom looking immaculate.
half panel and just make sure you give this a really nice good clean over. Any kind of areas that you find difficult to get into you can go ahead and use a toothbrush or your good grips. Now we can move on to our sink, it's going to be the exact same process, we're going to go in with our cleaner and give it a really good scrub and then we're going to disinfect in a second. When you clean your sink guys as well, just be mindful of going around the basin, kind of like around here and underneath because what you will find is, especially with things like toothpaste, it can drip down and then it becomes, you can't see it visually with your eye, but it just sits there lingering and it's just not pleasant. So just be mindful of underneath the sink as well. Now we can go ahead and rinse our cleaner off. We wanna make sure that we've removed all the product before we go ahead and start disinfecting. bottles with just a cap full of Sephora. This is going to be our disinfecting phase in today's clean. I am using today the Spiced Plum. It smells delightful. Add some water to your solution. And remember guys, if you're making these bottles, they're good for two weeks. After two weeks, toss it out if you've not used it because um, it won't work properly. So, give that a little shake. And now we can go ahead and start spraying all the areas that we have cleaned. This is gonna disinfect our bathroom and it also makes it smell, well, like a spiced plum, my darlings. We are going to buff dry any of our high shine surfaces with our Marigold Crystal Clear Cloth. So go ahead and do that. If you don't have one of these, then switch it out for a clean dry microfiber cloth. And once we've done that, our bathroom clean will be complete. <laughs>
end result of my bathroom guys i hope your bathrooms are looking ship shape and shiny too after doing day 27 30 days of cleaning with Hayley. Remember guys, for all of these cleans that we are doing, what I want you to do is implement the smaller details that we've done. These are things like the grout with our grout gloves, the linen cupboards, implement those into your cleaning routine alongside what we have done today. And if you continue to do that, you will keep on top of your housework, you will keep on top of the bathroom looking clean and being sanitised, and you, my friends, will have much more time on your hands to focus on other things because you won't have to be regularly doing a deep clean. If we keep on top of these things and we keep them relatively clean on a day-to-day -day basis, the grime and the dirt should not build up enough for us to really, really have to spend hours doing a clean. As always guys, with all of our cleans, once you have finished, make sure you sanitise your cloths properly. This can either be in a bleach solution, soaked for a while, or you can go ahead and pop them in your washing machine on a hot wash. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog guys. I hope you have got your bathrooms clean. I hope you are feeling pumped, you are feeling good, you are feeling motivated. I will be back again tomorrow for day 28, so come back and join me then on day 28 of 30 Days of Cleaning with Hayley. If you enjoyed this vlog, go ahead and smash the like button. Don't forget to share the Hayley Club content across your socials. And if you are new here, go ahead and click on the subscribe button and the bell notification to be notified next time we upload a vlog. Until then team, keep it clean. Love ya.